Hello and welcome everybody, every man a king. I want proud Bavarian and this is the new series on the channel. We're playing Führerreich, a mod that is an alternative history to the alternative history mod Kaiserreich. And we're going to play, as I already noted here, we're going to play the United States of America. Now the United States are in an interesting situation. Let me just quickly read through the brief history. Participating in the Great War on both the Mexican and European fronts, Theodore Roosevelt left the tables at Versailles, angered at the stringent and demanding treaty. A nation now in political isolation, the country has descended into deep economic troubles. In the midst, several of the nation's holdings declared their own independence, including their Mexican client state. Now, with a few friends and a couple powerful enemies, America stands divided as another great conflict looms on the horizon. We're going to play the... United States of America, and I can already tell you where this is going. Listen to the music, because it is just as happy as the future that America will have. With Yui, Long, Dong, every man a king, and share our wealth. We're gonna go full-on social democratic in terms to, uh, in order to contain socialism and everything it stands for. Regardless, uh, we're gonna just jump in and can get to the actual content of what will differ in this playthrough, you know, what, we, what we'll kind of be gunning for in a second here. <clears throat> so, of course, the most important aspect is making America great. And I say great because our future leader, Yui Long, knows oh too well that America isn't great. Louisiana is a state that is his home state in which uh, he is enjoyed a life of thorough poverty and of course that must have been rather upsetting to him which is also why he's now interested in leading everybody to a better future so the election hasn't happened yet but we will hopefully be able to get you long elected for the democrats uh, and then you know do that other stuff let's take a look at that later right now let's review the military will take 105 days which is a bit weird for this mod because most foci are only 35 days but in this case, it is a bit more. Right, let's take a look here. Give me this one. Thank you. Free civilian factories. Let's just build a bunch of military factories because we are a rather weak nation at this point in history. You know, the recession has hit us hard. And we will learn about that a bit more in a second as well. Let me just quickly set up some commands here. This is perfect, and now for the convoys and battle cruisers. There you go. Man, I'm doing this so much quicker than I had anticipated. I didn't test this, I didn't plan this. Uh, I haven't played Führerreich in a while, actually, you know. It's still in point one. Uh, not of Asia, I believe, as a focus tree. But we can mess with them. Like, I, I can mess with them, honestly. At, at some point. I may just have them declare war on each other. Like, have, you know, let's say 1937 in March, when the historical war between Japan and China started, I might just have Japan declare war to the uh, against the Beijing government. And then the Kuomintang, I will have declare war maybe about one of these, and I will create their own factions. Stuff like that. You know, I, th I think that would be a good idea. Ooh, they're social democrats. So I'm going to mess around a bit with uh, with Asia, I'm going to mod that so that Asia stays interesting because if Asia doesn't stay interesting the entire, you know, Pacific USA game is entirely pointless. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Japan attack the Beijing government in 1937 and then have in uh, also 1937 probably have the Kuomintang government push into the Anhui click and maybe the uh, like something down here I'll, I'll, I'll imagine the storyline right I don't know what the law is for China like what they're gonna do with them but I'm just gonna make something fun out of them because that's how it goes and of course I want all news events please I've already noticed though like in the past that I don't think all news events are actually shown to me if I, I do that sometimes there are wars that I just never really take a look at but for the moment, let's just take a look at the flavor. During the later weeks of 1935, widespread rioting took place in several important Indian cities, following the refusal of the British administration to reform working conditions and raise pay. Right, uh, they're still fighting. Uh, the Empire... struggling a bit. 
British Raj doesn't have enough troops to deal with this, but we will see how it goes. Uh, the Ottomans obviously a loser of the last war. Germany as well, that is why they lost so much, as did uh, our good old friend here, the Netherlands. I'm sure they want Limburg back. And other than that, you know what is different? We will see that in a second, I believe. Come on, where's the where's the news here? There it is. Right, give me give me one moment. Pardon me, I must have caught a bit of a cold. But here you go, the state of old glory. Since its inception, Americans relation, uh, America's relation with foreign intervention has been troubled and muddied to say the least. But in the past couple decades, the world has changed so drastically and the United States' relation with the major powers of the world has been greatly strained. With the recent dissolution of the Bull Moose Party back into the Republican Party, the legacy of the late Theodore Teddy Roosevelt has been called into question. After his main political opponent, Woodrow Wilson, was forced out of the presidential race in 1912 following a heart attack, Roosevelt was barely able to win at the ballot boxes, ushering in a new expansionist philosophy to the American zeitgeist. Yes, by the way, uh, a lot of Anglois pronounce this zeitgeist, but it's actually zeitgeist. The, the Z in German is tss, it's, a, it's a TS sound. Anyway, <laughs> I just mentioned that because like that, that actually kind of makes me mad when when people pronounce it. Oh, I totally get the zeitgeist. Uh, you, no. All right, let's go. Not least on his radar was the brewing tides of war in Europe, which we he was determined to keep the country out of, choosing to focus on the neighbors. This was rendered impossible, however, when Mexican nationalist Victor Carranza took power in Mexico. He became a formidable southern force. Brought to arms by the American recent occupation of Veracruz in the Tempinc uh, Tempico affair, Oh, Veracruz, give me one moment here. Yeah. Are you Veracruz? Hmm. God damn it, come on. There's Veracruz, right. Oh, we took that? Interesting. Uh, in the Tampico affair, he mobilized his army not for the offense, but to defend the country. As the Mexican Revolution wound down, a new war would start and Germany would be the match that would light the tinderbox. The Zimmermann Declaration has decoded almost as quickly by American spies as Mexican ones. And what may have been initially been swept aside was instead cast as a move to war, and neither side was going to back down. What began on 18th February 1917 in Mexico with a stroke of Roosevelt's pen would not end until 11th November 1919 in Germany and hundreds of thousands of American casualties would prove America's place in the Entente's victory. While at the Treaty of Marseille, President Roosevelt would try to convene, uh, convince the powers of the world to agree to his 10 points, a document that would enforce a moderate peace and hopefully a new faction of the democracies from America itself to France to even Japan. Its failure and Roosevelt's consequent infuriation at the insolence and disregard of Sir Lloyd George and George's uh, Georges Clemenceau would bring him to the, uh, declare after leaving the conference not to trust the Allies nor the Germans, for it seems that it is solely America's duty to protect itself and its interests. After his death, only a couple short months later, the United States would be on the rise for near a decade, a combination of war profiteering and exploitation on the Mexican puppet state. Presidents John J. Pershing, now renowned war hero, Kelvin Coolidge and Herbert Hoover have passed in succession. The election of 1928 being particularly heated between Hoover and incumbent son Quentin Roosevelt. Now, 36 has come and the political scene has been largely shaped by the horrendous downturn in 1929, the Gilded Tuesday that has near ruined America's economy. In the panic, the Mexican Republic was declared, which was decidedly an autocracy, and the Republic of the Philippines, which was more accurate to its name. Alright, okay, so Mexico and Philippines are independent. The Great Depression is the name of the game in American politics, and with the next election sure to depose Herbert Hoover. Four choices rarely support to bring a new look to both domestic and foreign policy, and with the rise of the far right and left since the end of the Great War, whereas the United States will find itself as never seemed to be in a more precarious position. Right, that was quite the text. Who do you, Charles Curtis? Uh, why are you ruling us? Wouldn't it be Hoover? Like at this at this moment? Wait, one moment. No, apparently, okay, Curtis, whatever. But the Philippines are independent, and of course, I mean, look at them. That's not okay. And look at you. Neither of these are okay, all right? Are you an American, actually, in, in power here? Vasilio J. Valdez. That doesn't sound American. Doesn't sound American at all. Militang Junta. <laughs> all right, Phil, I uh, try to work that out next time. 
I wish we could go with a foundation for the Lord and democracy. Now, that's a good uh, title. Anyway, what, 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 what is happening? So apparently we're in a bad spot. The Sigmund of the Americas. Uh, the counteroffensive that we led in World War One was terrible, which is why, you know, we have a negative effect here. we got to get rid of that in the future. And currently we have also a malnourished populace and the Great Depression. So that's beautiful. An explosion rocketed, uh, rocked Houston, Texas this morning, causing several deaths and currently untold numbers of injuries. Chief suspects of the incident include Mexican nationalists, though local police have not yet ruled out a domestic political group either. The crew at the scene is what officers have been identifying as the flag of the Mexican state, though additional forensics research will have to be conducted. The target of the attack is believed to be a rail and transportation hub in the city, but exactly which is not yet known. Well, what is known, however, is that the political climate in the country has taken a drastic turn for the worse, and it will certainly only go downhill from here. Well, look at you. Hmm. I wonder what they're, what they're going to do. What are they going to get uh, elected into power here? Yeah? Oh, Mexico, don't you dare threaten me in any way. So if they win... Like, fairly moderate, but then again, net pops aren't really moderate, are they? Well, the Catacualtals are the Valkyrs, so the truly non-moderate force. A peaceful ending at midnight, King George V has passed away. So, as we are reviewing the military, we will get these events. And uh, I won't even read through this, as you, you know, it doesn't really matter. There's three plans. One is uh, the classic plan to establish hegemony in your country or in the world the other one is you know mobile warfare essentially and the last one is mass warfare and we're going to go with mass warfare because it would be in our in you know it would be very favorable in everything that we're doing here to get uh, the malnourished populace penalty gone and to be able to do refined naval invasion strategies that is something that we can't do unless we do communication primacy and commission extra uh destroy us so we will have to do strength in numbers and MacArthur's mass mobilization MacArthur's got the right of it let's do it so i'm going to go with those we're going to do a lot of naval invasions and we're going to do a lot of naval invasions that are a bit weird Our ideology has grown i don't need that thank you abdul Majid the second has died leader of the ottoman empire and now we merely have the general assembly here who are they going to choose what are they going to choose an invitation to the paris colonial Exposition. So they're going to go with consolidation of power here. Ooh, that's going to be a radical Ottoman Empire. Anybody else doing anything interesting? Perger position. Well, hmm, can't see anything. Anyway, the French have provided us with an invite to the Paris Colonial Exposition. The point of this festival of sorts seems to be a political move to change the face of their colonial empire and they hope we also attend for the same purposes. Whilst we could of course attend, it would undoubtedly displease Germany and the Soviets some nations who were vocally against the notion of a Paris colonial exposition. You know what? I hate the Soviets. Goddamn communists. Get out of here. I wonder who's their Sokdem leader. You know, if you haven't heard of Yui Long, by the way, you should really read up on him. He's, he's quite an interesting character. Not like, you know, oh, what a great hero this man is. More like, man, what a what an interesting dude. What can I say? I like crazies. He uh, was from Louisiana, and he had one big pro program, or rather, you know, it was more like marketing. It was called Share Our Wealth, and he had huge plans for sharing our wealth. Also, uh, numbers, right? There you go. We don't even need to read through that. I already mentioned we're going to do strength in numbers. So, yeah, Yui, uh, you know, grew up in poverty here in Louisiana, did share wealth during the Great Des uh, Depression, which was a program to essentially limit the wealth that you can achieve and that you can inherit and so on and so forth, so that concentration of wealth wouldn't be a big thing. Sounds a lot like communism, doesn't it? Well, it isn't. And it's why the communists were so mad at him, and he also really hated communists. Uh, but the liberals were mad at him because, hey, that sounds a lot like communism. The Paris Colonial Exposition. A few short hours ago, France has declared the Paris Colonial Exposition to be open after months of extensive planning. France, after facing excessive flack for their colonial holdings from other nations such as Germany and the USSR, has decided to hold a festival dedicated to displaying the vast resources of her colonies amongst a multitude of other subjects. A multitude of other nations has participated in this event, particularly other nations possessing colonies. Nonetheless, the event is planned to continue for another month, a few months 
until it's closed at France's discretion. Despite condemnations from the German and Soviet governments, give me that political power. Also, I'm interested in knowing, do we have any relationship to Liberia? I doubt we do. Hmm. Purge democratic sympathizers. Well, that's something that you gotta do, I suppose. Army reforms. Not doing anything interesting, are you? Hmm. In comparison, by the way, our focus tree is fairly short. UJEPS, Eugene Depps has died of multiple organ failure following an extended period of ailing health. Depps had an extensive, pardon me, history in American politics, having been a union leader who contested Theodore's, er, Theodore Roosevelt's election campaigns. After having narrowly been found innocent of sedition in his condemnation of American actions against Mexico and by extension to the Central Powers, a uh, controversial figure. Oh, he appointed some weeks ago journalist and unioneer Jack Reed as his successor. Though with Deb's death, the transition has become official. Many spectators cannot say exactly what the fate of the party will be now, but it will probably suffer divisions in power following its suzerain leader's death. Suzerain. Uh, here we will go with destruction of industry. And that is the review of all of our armed forces. Now, I just showed you our focus tree. Let's take a look here. I think Peru is a good one. Yeah, look at look at this baby. Actually, this one is fairly small even, in comparison, that is. Man, that's a lot of Colombian foci. <laughs> I can't believe the obsession with South American focus trees these days. Looking at you, Kaiserreich. Of course I am. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Isn't that great? Right, so we reviewed it and it gave us a number, a multitude of... Also, actually. A number of different uh, foci automatically. All of these, as you can see here. And I think I'm just going to not do a focus for, for the time being because I want to get out of this negative political power. For the moment, or actually, let me check something here. Why? Oh, this gives us political power, so that's good. Let's let's do it and then get the political power right then and there. And then we're also fairly close already to refined naval invasion strategies, which I am a big fan of. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, we we need this transport model. I can already tell you. How much does it reduce it by? Minus one hundred percent. Oh lord, you're gonna see some mass invasions in this playthrough, I can tell you that much. Please clap. But right now, we're not even Yui Long, alright? We're just Mr. Curtis here. I wish he had the courtesy to step down. <laughs> Ooh, got him. Right, uh, the Spanish Civil War. Could I intervene if I wanted to? You're the... I mean, you are so social conservatives. I could intervene, actually, apparently. Hmm. We only have one horse, are you kidding me? Give me more horses. Hey. Then put these people into the Republic of Spain. Sounds about right. So those are volunteers, by the way. Those are not regular units. <laughs> Despite the looks of them. So do not even attempt, uh, attempt to criticize me. Spain in this mod is kind of underrated. I like a lot how they designed the Civil War, but at the same time, the biggest issue with it is, is very simple. The biggest issue, give me a horse person, there you go. The biggest issue is, you know, quite simply that none of these Spanish countries have a focus tree. And now that is not terrible because there's no focus tree for Order. Nope, don't don't get me please. Come on, move out. There's no focus tree for uh Spain in the vanilla game either, but they get pulled in by Germany, which they don't here. Nineteen thirty six Progressive National Convention. 
The Progressive National Convention has begun to choose which candidate, Quentin Roosevelt or Alf Landon, will carry the torch of the party to the national ballot box in November. Roosevelt, who was sworn to continue the social reforms of his late cousin Teddy, to reach not just equality between the sexes but the races as well, Alf London, London, meanwhile, is more focused on fixing the American economy. Though many of his proposed methods have been considering rather dubious, many progressives are steadfast in their commitment that his resolution of the unemployment and debt crisis by focusing on small businesses will save America. Which one of these will be chosen for the position remains to be seen. Question mark? I don't think that's how a question works. Uh, we're going to pick Roosevelt, sure. I want Yui to demolish... Roosevelt and there you go we've bypassed this focus so after this is done we'll immediately jump into the National Recovery Act to do ourselves a favor now the encirclement here has worked out nicely no why did you move out yeah this is good as long as we can keep him encircled I feel very happy it's time for Roosevelt to decide where he would like to campaign first what would be the best region so, I have heard that there's a lot of code behind the American election in this. Which is a bit sad, because... Oh, the Valka Swan in, in a Mexico, huh? Hmm. It's a bit sad. Mostly. Oh, look at you, huh? Being all threatening. It's a bit sad, mostly because... Uh, the election's just over, like... You don't even have a radical choice. Where's Reed in this, right? Give me... Give me Reed. Right, he should campaign in, let's say, the North Central States. Ah, they reconnected. Of course they did. Quentin Roosevelt campaigns in St. Louis. What? Oh, right. St. Louis is far more north than I always remember. Now, where is it, though? <laughs> Here it is, right, we got it. Uh, Quentin Roosevelt appeared in St. Louis today to massive crowds steered to action by his vigorous speeches, blaming the recent economic downturn on a penny pension government unable or unwilling to protect the American worker. Roosevelt... ...sought for equality among not just the sexes, but races too. The crowd's reaction was uncertain, at least for now, the middle class like social equality. Let's go with the middle class. And in the Democratic National Convention, Yui Long, the longtime firebrand and thorn in the side of the typically conservative Democratic establishment, has secured a large following, though it has swayed back and forth since he announced his running for the candidacy. His opponent, John Nance Garner, represents a conservative and more defense-focused portion of the party looking to the border with Mexico and its consuming tensions. Who now amongst them will take up the mantle? Every man a king, but no one wears a crown. That's the spirit, boys. And girls. Please clap. Right, we've done the National Recovery Act, which is Curtis's last attempt at a political redress of the Great Depression. The National Recovery Act could be uh, could at least stem the tide for now, so it gives us a few benefits there. In the meantime, we need reorganized logistics, but I would rather do fleet uh, strength 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 and numbers right there right we are grinding a bit here fortress buster could be nice mm. equipment capture honestly scavenger would be kind of good as well mm. we'll take a look at that in the future i just want to keep grinding in so long of course we'll go to the southeastern states because that's where he's from and it is the fourth of july god bless america do not come into this territory you hear me no 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 absolutely not i cannot let this happen you long campaigns in baton rouge but let me find baton rouge i believe it to be somewhere here no apparently not one moment i will find it okay Americans? I'm very sorry, and I know that mostly Americans watch my series, but man. Uh, maybe it's not on the map. I thought it was like around here somewhere. Let me let me quickly Google it to see if I'm completely off. Baton Rouge. Do you call it anything English in English? Baton, Baton Rouge. I don't know. 
making up noises at this point. Yeah, it's right there. I knew it. It's, it's right there. Hmm. Not on the map. Well. Today, two massive crowds stirred to action by his vigorous speeches, blaming the recent economic downturn on the failure of the government to control the wealthy splendors, spenders on Wall Street and elsewhere. He has promised sweeping tax reforms and caps on wealth, as well as extensive welfare programs for the poor. Wall Street has destroyed the poor for long enough. Get it? Get it? It's long. Yui long and long enough. Get it? Alright, we've done it. I have to get rid of this militia unit. Garden. Easy. Let's get to Barcelona and maybe end this war real quick, actually. Huh? Maybe this does it? No? Okay, then. But they are falling apart nonetheless, and I think I may as well just go for Valencia. Because that should do it. Ah, come on. Can't be in there. Roosevelt is visiting a new region. I think he will go to the northeastern states. Wish I could take Valencia. But it looks fairly unlikely that my horses will be able to do it on their own. Quite Roosevelt campaigns in NYC. Well, the rich in NYC are obviously more influenced because they are afraid of Yui Long. And because of that, the rich love social justice and would prefer it over Yui Long taking their wealth. Please clap. And the rich, I can tell you, there are enemies. Enemies of the people. So on and so forth. Let's get some more. Destroyers. Maybe I should have done that after like uh, getting the tech or something. I don't know how it works exactly. Yui Long, in the meantime, will go to the honestly the north central states. He got to look to the rural population, right? He got to tell the the steel states, the stealing states. Oh, wait, you're leaving Valencia? You sure, you want to do that? Oh wow! <laughs> what a joke! Great, great uh, strategy. Yui Long campaigns in Detroit. I know where Detroit is. It's right here. Become human. That's what Yui is going to do for you. He's going to make you a human. Right, we've read this. And of course, the poor love us. Ready. Now, let's see if we can actually win this in November. There will be the election as it, you know, takes place in real life as well. That's one of those things, by the way. As a German, I am extremely confused by election dates in the USA. We can't have... Our constitution says, hey, mate, you can't have elections outside of su uh, Sunday. Because everybody on Sunday is free. I don't... No, I, I know not all countries do this, but I actually love it so much. I'm, I would never reverse it. Uh, on Sundays, average stores have to be closed. They have to be closed. There's no option there not to be closed you know you have some restaurants and such that are open but it's just so comfy you have to pre-buy kind of uh, you know be smart about what you have to buy prior to sunday and you just get to kind of chill out everybody gets a free day it's nice it's comfy it's uh oh the indians lost it's very helpful actually as well and uh we do that right oh actually no I'll, I'll, i'm gonna let you go because Oh, I kicked the Indian Rebels thing away, sadly. Hmm. Let me just quickly do some more grinding here. Please clap. A mission extra destroyers, we've done it. Isn't that misspelled a bit? Well. Oh, what? Oh, one of the follow- oh, that means we could have gone with something else, huh? Well... Well, you know what? We, we've we given our army food, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's go with the refined naval invasion strategies right away. And I never got why the US wouldn't do that as well. Why wouldn't- you know, the US is always like, oh, we're so Christian. Why do they not- On the day of the Lord, why do they not have a free day there? Why do they not put their holidays there? 
Oh, this is bad. Yep, that's pretty bad. Oh, come on. No, I'm losing my horse. I shall never forgive you, Spain. For letting my horse die. Could have, it could have saved me. And you know it. You know it as, as well as I do. Now I'm losing it. Spain, I will never forgive this. You made me lose my horse. God damn it, Spain. You know what? Yui Long is going to make Sunday a free day. Just like in all other civilized nations. Oh, you know what? We can actually stay here. This is a uh, port. Oh, we're going to die. I'm a genius in strategy. If you haven't watched anything on this channel beforehand, I am actually magnificent. Hmm. was awful. <laughs> awful, awful performance. Oh, that's pretty good. Supply consumption goes down. That's a great the military of course also great and then nuclear technology let's go but we're gonna wait for that until we have researched one nuke tech and then for the next one i want to use that yeah i'm gonna lose both of these horses huh no let's go we've done it run for freedom kingdom of denmark has declared war on the hamburg commune strasse flat which means so just for your information the, uh, hamburg turns communist if they kick out Strasse and keep Hitler, which they did here as the economic minister. And now usually Hamburg, uh, from my experience at least back in the day, yeah, Hamburg will win this war against Denmark. Hmm. Can't say I'm too happy about that. Come on, horsey. Ah, no. The history of the kill zone has been incredibly turbulent since its inception. Originally established in, as an occupation zone of the Entente, powers in order to maintain control of the Kiel Canal, it proved to become a hotspot for German socialists and also became the birthplace for a strange prototype ideology known as national collectivism. Hmm. 1927 saw the uprising of the First Hamburg Commune, which nearly achieved victory over the Danish occupying forces, however, was barely defeated due to a combination of poor organization on behalf of the Commune and a few strokes of luck on behalf of the Danes. In recent days, the Danish administration in the Kiel Zone caused a series of riots to escalate far beyond their control, instigating the surprising the uprising of the Second Hamburg Commune. Yet another leftist revolution in Europe. Wait, they are leftists, right? Uh, are they? Regardless of that, uh, the war in Spain is going well, and while I'm not too, you know, happy about the DLR being the winners, maybe the Sock Dems long term will win. But for the moment, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. And every man a king, but no one wears a crown. Never forget. Until later.